everybody welcome back to my channel I'm gonna show you how to do another stitch today this one is called the aligned cobble stitch and it's very unique um, it kind of reminds me of like a rug um, but you'll see once we get started okay so what I need you to do is chain a multiples of three which I have completed here now for your first row you're gonna single crochet into the second chain from the hook and all the way across. Oh, don't you just love this color that I'm using? This is my favorite color in the world. Teals are just magical colors. Okay, so you're just going to go all the way across. <clears throat> I have two more to go. One. And let's see if I can get it in the end one there. Two. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and turn your work. You want to single crochet into the first stitch, which is right here. Do your single. All right. Do one triple into the next stitch. So your triple is you wrap and wrap. Go into that stitch there, grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's a triple crochet. Then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch, which is right here. All right. Then you're going to repeat that all the way to the end. So the next one, you're going to do a triple crochet, so you'll wrap twice and insert it. So you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If you guys hear that awful noise, that is candy trying to get into a box. Okay, so the next stitch, you're going to go in for a single crochet. And then you're going to do this again. You're going to triple crochet. So pull through two, pull through two, pull through two single crochet in the next stitch available triple crochet in the next okay single crochet in the next keep your stitches pulled a little snug for this as well next you want to do your triple And in the end, you want to end up in a single. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over and show you what it looks like so far. Okay, it's just got, it almost looks like the, uh, uh, the bobble stitch, but it's not. These little, uh, it, these little poofs here have little points on them. They're really small. Okay, so now what we're going to do is row three. You're going to turn your work and you're going to chain one. You're going to single crochet into the first, which is right here. You're going to single crochet into uh, the next and each one across. So it's fairly simple to do. You're going to go into the top there, single crochet, go in between in that stitch and do a single crochet, and then hit the top one for a single crochet. So you're basically just going to single crochet in each stitch across however long you've made your uh, pattern that you're working with here I can't get over how pretty this teal is <laughs> okay and like I said it is going to resemble the uh, bobble stitch a little bit but once once you see and get it put together you'll see the big difference Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to repeat rows two and three. So you'll chain one and turn, and you're going to single crochet in the first. Then you'll do a triple in the next. Okay, then you'll single crochet. Then you'll triple in the next. And this stitch, I honestly feel, would look... Uh, it would actually bring out its personality and the pattern more if you were to use a thinner yarn. I have certain yarns that uh, most of the time 
I will uh, teach with, like what I'm doing right now. I'll teach using certain um, scrap yarns that I have. Uh, but from time to time I'll use a different yarn to show a perspective of a stitch. And I probably should have done that here, but it's easy for you to do. You can uh, do this with a smaller thickness of yarn and you will definitely see the uh, difference. So now if I turn it over, you see how little those are. There are more of peaks in the very centers. Isn't that just nice? Like I said, once you get it done over a complete project, then it's going to look uh, it's going to look different. And um, so basically, you just keep repeating that. What you'll do here after that row is you'll chain your one, and then you'll just go back across and single crochet. And you'll keep doing that and repeating this pattern all the way until you're complete with your project. All right. So again, this was a very simple pattern. Um, I do try to reach out to you and teach you different stitch patterns because um, there are so many out there and some of them are so simple we just overlook them. Okay, so this again is your aligned cobble stitch. Don't forget to hit the like button for me guys on your way out. And until my next video, happy hooking!